Hello everyone, this is my evidence too about my global classroom digital culture. And well, we have the competency of particip participation in the digital environment. And we have a couple of questions. The first say, how would you demonstrate that your participation in this collaborative online international learning was an ethical one? And well, I think that in this project, my participation was critical at all moments since the beginning. I demonstrate that commitment with our team in order to have a good communication as possible and well, then I asked to all my companions to do the individual tasks. And even when some people on the team have difficulties to work, I understand the different situations and the rest of us look out on work harder to give our best. The second one is write a photograph where you evaluate your experience in this collaborative online international learning. And uh, well, we have those options. It was easy or difficult. I would say pretty difficult because more than once we had a lack of communication with one, one person and the team. Even when we all asked her to participate and well, another subject that made it difficult was that one companion from Farmingdale had some drawbacks that cannot be controlled by anybody. So uh, it made a bit, a bit different the, the way and how to work. Uh, another one, the valuable or not so much. And I think for sure this experience was valuable and well, I have never been working on a team with people from, from abroad. And so even when we had some drawbacks, I have learned a lot on how to deal with it and how to communicate with them and how their lifestyle go. And the last one, the time effective or time consuming and uh, well I think that the time working on this project was always effective and I can say it because we have we all have learned uh, how to work with people from abroad and what we could do better next time the next of competency is communities and digital environments uh, okay the Task. If we post this video on a public YouTube channel, how far can it get? Uh, well, I did a research about how many people from English uh, countries use YouTube, and I, I found this this graphic, and well. And uh, also I say we need to take in account some significant factors that will determine how far our video can go. Uh, the first thing is the language. It's very important because people that don't understand English won't, won't see our video or won't found it like interesting and that stuff. Um, Based on the top 25 countries ranked by total YouTube views, views we have the, fo the following rank that is the graphic. And as we can see, the United States have 9, 16 billion views. And well, the next one is something that, okay, yeah, approximately 19, 
92 billion of people will watch the video if it goes as the most viral English video on YouTube. And at the moment, but the number will increase over the years, obviously, in order to the birth rate in each country. There we, we had the amount of people in each country from the from the graphic and that's the result the 1992 billion the next question is who will be able to understand it fully who will surely be left or out even if it goes viral and uh, well the 19, 1992 billion of people will be able to understand it at 100 percent but the people that will be left of, uh, of our numbers are people that have no access to internet with no access to YouTube or directly that don't speak English or understand it. Uh, the next question, do you feel proud enough of the work you have produced to do so? And were you responsible now to do so to avoid plagiarism claims? And yeah, I would say for sure, I'm proud of the work I have done. And even if I could do it better, I'm being responsible in terms of plagiarism, covering perfectly my reference, like uh, this graphic. So yeah, it's, it's, it's safe. <laughs> The next one is the value of technology. Okay, it asks me to create a full inventory of the digital tools uh, that I have used during the, this project. Uh, for sure, you mentioned the name of the digital tool, resource or app and the purpose of the usage. Also rated the tool from the point of view of purpose using a one to five scale. And when, well, I used the five apps. The first one is Zoom, who uses to communication. We made a lot of, a lot of meetings in it. And the second one is WhatsApp. We use it as well uh, to communicate. And the next one is Camtasha 3. It's for video editing and YouTube that is a social video platform that I will upload this video. All of, the, all of those have a five and the race scale, in my opinion. <laughs> but the last one, the Microsoft Teams uses it as well for communication. I I give it a three because I think it, it could improve so far the 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 interface they already have like they could use a more intuitive one or uh, uh, things like that because it was like so confused to use to do to use it. And the next one, write a photograph to assess the importance of technology for the success of the collaborative online international learning experience as well. The use of technology was essential in every moment to work on this collaborative online international learning project. So in the whole process, we used uh, things like WhatsApp and Zoom to communicate each other and with a, with a teammate from Tech and the, the teammate from Farmingdale. And then to record the video, to edit and to upload it, the use of technology is, is a must because I'm using Camtasia, I'm using Zoom to record it. I will use Camtasia 3 to edit it and I will have to use YouTube to upload it. It, it will, those, those things and in general, in general, the technology makes all more practice, practical faster and it unites us. 
the next competency is attitude towards technology. Uh, and it asks like the collaborative online international learning ship experience aims develop develop global work and citizenship in the students design a list of basic collaboration rules that should improve to students prior to this kind of experience. And will I, I put those four that I think are essential and this kind of activities. The first one is the commit, commitment uh, because with it, so we all can work together and there will be no prob problems or on the team in order to create the, the final product. Uh, the second one is communication is essential. So all the parts will know what to do, how and when. Also, we need the persons in the team can express the ideas or just share their opinion on how the things are going to do. Uh, the next one is respectful in all the pro and the whole process with the teammates. Um, and the last one is rep responsibility to work with the team and do the task each one have to do. Uh, well, uh, that's all we we can see here the references where we we where I took the information and that's all. Thanks.